What chapter are we up to? Are we on chapter to 19? twenty. Nineteen was the memory chapter with the memory boxes. So we're starting chapter so 20. twenty. Hi, get goal. Let me just get the. Moonlight. Yeah, I need to get the uh, spreadsheet. Okay, found it. Good. Nice. <clears throat> It is a nine. Not, it is a night that you can see the moon, um, on. And the next bubble will be for you, Cookie. Yep, stream is just loading. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Um, and then we have. Nanka, tension, agaru yone. Uh, that means um. Some tension has increased or something. Yeah. Nanka kind of feels like it seems, mm. it kind of feels like you added like seems like into it. A little bit of like a bagel. Ne, kiteru? Kitenai. Hey, have you heard? I did not hear. Um, next bubble will be for you. The blonde hair character says. Chi chan wa, yep. Chi chan wa itsu mo, um, uki, uki den. Um, die on there. So it's like Chi Chan is always, um, is always, um, ill humored or mm, kind solid. of like in a bad mood. <laughs> yeah, I'm not in a particularly bad mood. And next two bubbles for you. Uh, you more. Yeah, you more majime ni sagase. Um, sagashite yo. Yeah, sagashite yo. Um, or it says ibo. Yeah, ibo uh, haken. Hmm. So it's like um. Can I, um, I might have forgotten, but what does majime mean? Take something seriously. Okay, yeah. Um, you is also, um, taking, like, trying to take things seriously, looking for serious things. I'm not sure. Hi, so this sentence is ending with te form. Do you know what happens if we end a sentence in te form without anything else? It just te forms the... Final verb and the form, not without idu or adu or anything like that. Do you know what that means? Um, it's it's like you're telling someone else to do something. Yes. So she's ordering you to do something. So she's saying yeah. you search seriously as well, because the man, yeah. whoever's talking, is searching seriously. So it's an order. Hi. Mm. Um, and then the bubble after that is, oh, um, I found um. I found a pole or something. Yeah. A nice a pole. E bowl. Yeah. Perfect. Ah, nandaro fushigi na chikaro kanjiru. Oh, what is it? I wonder. I can feel this mysterious power. And the next two bubbles will be for you. Ore ga tsuki no um Mario. Yeah, Mario. The Yatsuna no Kana. I think that means um, the um, the magical powers of the moon, mm. and then like, Yatsuna no Kana. Are you I'm confused sure about means. splitting things? Okay, so Kana is something you hear that is basically means I wonder. And it makes, it, it really yeah. does come from ka, which is a question mark, and na, which is like a vocal sigh, where you're like sighing to yourself. So like, if you're questioning mm -hmm. yourself, you're wondering. No is a marker that kind of shows that you are trying to use your brain, is the best way to explain it. And it's a lot of ways you can interpret it in different situations. So right here, it's not really adding much here, other than making her sound like she's talking naturally. If you took it out, it's still grammatically correct. Um, you'd probably want to stick like a da in there, but it's still um, grammatical. It just doesn't, doesn't have any like yeah. human to it. 
Na, that's just a grammatical thing because we're using no, because yatsu is a noun. You do know what yatsu means, though. What does that mean? Uh, to do. Uh, or like, that's um... yaru. Yaru is a verb to do. Yatsu is that guy. Yeah. That guy is what yatsu means. Um, just right. like with English, yatsu does not actually have to refer to a real life human being. I, for example, a lot of time I'll be like this guy when I refer to like different kanji and things. Or someone might like slap their car and say, this guy's my baby. So it doesn't have to refer to a human being. And very commonly, it's not in Japanese. So here, the yatsu is being used basically as like a thing in this context. So do you know what te tells us? Te. Um, I think it means um, it's doing something. Sadly, no, it doesn't have that meaning. Te is a short form that comes from to, specifically, normally to you in some form. So sometimes it'll be to itta or to iwareta or to you no koto or anything like that. It tends to be this quotation to. In this very specific context, the most logical you to assume it is is the to you, which is used for defining things. As we're defining yatsu mm. as a uh, Tsuki no Marioku, which you did translate correctly as the moon's magical power. So all this is saying is, mm -hmm. I wonder if this is the moon's magical power. But literally it is, this, I wonder, is that guy's, the, that guy, the, the moon's magical power. Using that guy and magical power as like the... Wait, who is line. that guy? That, the... So I just told you about that guy doesn't have to refer to a real human being. For example, I would say um, this guy right here is Gekko, which means moonlight. It doesn't have to be a human being. Okay. So Yatsu and in this context, Getsu no Marioku is the same thing. That is who the Yatsu is. That guy, this feeling that she's getting, this Kore is Marioku. So in general, yatsu is not actually needed in here. You could just say, um, kore ga getsu no marioku na no kana, and that would be fine. Yatsu is basically making this more roundabout and more like she's like, it, the, it she's kind of like, um, you see how she's like pointing at the moon like that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> she's, she's, the, the yatsu, I guess, is like, a little bit more aggressive in a way. She's saying, Ah, oh, this, it's that guy! That And by that guy, she means it's the power of the moon. It's it's the power mm -hmm. of the moon. So that that's what she's saying here. Um, and there, she's talking about the mysterious yeah. feeling she gets because we can see the moon. Ah, marioko ne! Magic, huh? And I'll have you do the next bubble as well. Sure. Uh... Kekko uchi ga, um, nokoru, oteru kara nani ka aru kana to omotta kedo, um, um, before that, I think you pronounce this kanji as uchi, and I just want to say. Mm -hmm. If you have to see, if you see the house kanji and you have to make a guess, ie is probably the better one to guess. Okay. Because she's talking about houses here. She's not talking about um, her family. Yeah, but I'm not sure what is necessarily remaining. Houses. The houses, the remaining houses? Yeah. So houses are remaining. Okay. So they're at a location right now, right? They're in a location, and they're describing the location as, um, I, I guess I can just tell you what the sentence means. Um, it's not that grammatically complex, but I guess the meaning doesn't make sense to you, so that's confusing you. So yeah, we have um, this do right here tells us that this kata right here means because. So she says, 
There's yep. quite a bit of houses left over. So that I wonder if that means perhaps that there's something here. Nanikaru. Okay. So see, it's, it's pretty simple how we got to that. So she's kind of just ignoring the previous sentences. Well, I wonder if there's something here since there's a lot of houses here. Yeah. There's nothing here, huh? It's quite um, in bad condition. And the next two bubbles will go to you, Cookie. Okay, I think that says... Um... Oh my god, I forgot the kanji. Even Akari. that kanji I've forgotten. Hi, hi. Yeah, Akari. Akari. Um, okay, and then... I think that means um, Tsuki Hikari. Hi, that is Tsuki Hikari. However, both of them are actually being read as their marriage reading. For example, the first one shows up in Getsu Yobi as Getsu, and the second one is Ko. Ko is how Hikari is read when it's married. So when you have a Tsu and a K sound, the Tsu turns into a small Tsu, so it's Gekko. Gekko ga. Um... Sashikonderunda. Um, the moonlight is flowing in. Hi, that's why it's so bright. Very clearly, yeah. So, so. Oh, Gekko Pawa Zekai! Which says, Woo! It's the the power of the moonlight at full throttle! Get go, get go! Mo, o tsuke yo! So, um, she says, um, moonlight, moonlight! And she says, calm down! Get go! Which is moonlight again. And then what happened in the panel right here is that, um, Yuri smacks the black. Uh, Chito on the head with the pipe, and then she says, "Ita, mm -hmm. gomen," because um, uh, the black hair one takes the pipe back from her. So when you can see the next panel, that'll be for you. Um. Whoa, I can't. I need to zoom it in because. The resolution is making it difficult to mm. pick up the details of that kanji. The first kanji um, is bowl for pull. Yep. So, mo, bowl hiro no yamero is like, put the pole down already, something. That's a good guess. Um, hiro is like to pick up, but it's not really like to hold up. It basically means like, Something was on the floor, and then you take it into your possession to hirota. So she says, stop picking up um, poles, is what she's saying. Like, hmm. in general. Because she already took the pole from yeah. uh, the blonde hair character. Um, Garasu yeah. yoki da na. Kara ka na. So um, she says, they're just glass containers, I guess. And um, she said, the other character goes, I wonder if they're empty. Yeah. She says, no, there's something in here, it looks like. And she says, oh, there's also something in here. And the next one will be for you, Cookie. Um, zenbu. I think that means Zekai Zenbu. Uh, Mitsuka. Um, all in all, there's three of them. And then, nani ka itteru in da ro mizu ka na? It's like, what's in there? Water? Perfect. Kore nante kaite aru no? Kore wa... Byu? So the first character says, um, what is even written on here? And he says, the thing written right here is byu, which, uh, who has any idea what that means? Um, I just put hey when I click that button. Okay. Um, for me. Wait, wait what, ha what happened? Uh, sometimes I click buttons on the computer. It should, 
it'll slowly right. happen to you and you'll see it go white and stuff. It's it's just there's a lot of All buttons right. on here that do weird things. To me it looks like it says like Koda. Hmm. Anyway. Do I think that means cold. Mm. Uh bu I don't think it means anything because they don't have anything here. And I don't think she's reading right. Anyway, do katai sen da kedo oh Hiraita. I think it's Hiraita. Could be Aita. I think it's Hiraita. Um, so she says, how is it? Mm. He goes, oh, it's like, even though the, um, the stopper is quite firm. Oh, I opened it. So the next two bubbles will be for you. Sugoi kiniro no. Yeah, I think that means kiniro no mizuda. It's like, wow, it's, um, a golden water. Or golden colored water. Uh, nanka kira kira shiteru ne. Um, it's glistening or sparkling. Hi hi. Ne, grass no irimono te motte nakata ke? Um, uh, It's like, did we, uh, not have any things that we could, um, put these glass containers in? And she says, あったと思うけど, she says, I think we do have them. It's kind of a weird sentence. Hmm. Wow, amazing! It's almost as if the sunlight has melted into it. To the container. And the next bubble for you. Uh, I think that means... Uh, I think we're starting from the top right. Yeah, that one. Um, uh, and then that says... Kaorida. Right, um, kaori is right. The first one does start with fu, but it actually is fushigi, which means mysterious. Oh, yeah, sorry. Um, fushigi, nah. Okay. Um, oh, goodness. Um, I think that means it's a curious um, aroma or a, fu a curious smell. Yes, yeah. It's a mysterious smell. And it says no. Dewa, do. In that case, how is it? And you t read um, her answer to how it tastes. Nigai, nigai yona, amai is like it has a bitter yet sweet taste. Hai. It's um good. Perfect. Yosh. Okay. <laughs> It's delicious. It's all bubbly and gives it's a has a weird feeling to it. And the next two bubbles for you, Cookie. Uh Yosh Mo Ippon uh yeah, Ippon Ageyo is like, okay, let's open another. You chanto kangaite that means you think about this properly. You, nani, chichan, ga okashiku natta. So they said like some non skit things like you and what, and then the last line is, oh, chichan, you, you've got, you've gotten a little weird. You, you no ka wa yoku nobiru na, kore ga tsuki no maryoku. You, your face really stretches a lot, yeah? Um, this, is the power of moonlight. The next bubble for you, Cookie. Yeah, body, I'm no musini. Um as expected, this water is um and then it says um gets uh, no sorry, Tsuki no hikari ga um ko toke ko no wait. What uh, no dewa. Um, so it's as expected. This water, um, uh, 
this water had the power of like the moonlight um, absorbed into it. Yeah, basically. Tokeru is the yeah. melt rather than really to observe. So it's saying that the light yeah. of the moon ha ha is, has melted um, into mm. this water. Um, and you're definitely right. That is yeah. Tsuki, which I read this as Ketsu, I think, as, uh, when it's definitely Tsuki no Maruoku. Uwa, Tsuki no Hikari! The light of the moon! Ha 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 ha! Ne, you, Nani, hey, you! What? And the next bubble for you, Cookie? It's car. No, it's car. Zutto Akakumade. Um. No, bo. Desa. Um. Do you know what Ichika means? That's like what probably a really Ichika important. Again? Hi. So. Yeah, I know that's important. It's. And Japanese on its own is a question word that means when. Itsu. And when you add ka to a question word, yeah. it then turns it into a different word. So, for example, if you had said um, doko, which is where, and you say doko ka, that suddenly means somewhere. It basically adds some to it. Mm. So, itsuka is basically one day. Because we don't really have a some when in um, English. We would say like one day or when... Sometime in the or future. Someday. Someday, exactly. Yeah. That, that's so someday. That's yeah. Yeah, so it's like someday um, we can go much higher, something. Close, yeah. So we got noboru, which is a climb. So someday when we climb to made. Do you know what made means? Um. Up to? Hi, hi. So someday when we climb up to the Zuto Taku, Takaku, which is basically somewhere super the highest. high. Yeah, basically the highest. Yeah. That's what the Zuto adds to that. And then Sa is something that doesn't really have a direct translation into English. But basically, this the sentence hasn't ended here. So this isn't the te form for an order. This is actually um, Sa telling us that this is the topic of the sentence. She's basically starting a conversation here being like, so, you know, when we climb all the way to the highest part, and then she's going to, like, continue the sentence on the next page. Um, mm. Tsuki ni ikou yo. Let's go to the moon. So, when we climb to the tallest part, let's go to the moon, is uh, what she says. Ine. Mm. That sounds good. Tsuki ka. The moon, huh? Donna tokoro nan daro. I wonder what kind of place it is. Um, next bubble for you, Cookie. Oh. Um. Ah. Um. Chotto chichan kami no ke tabenai de yo. It's like, um, it's like, oh. Um. Wait, Shi-chan, you can't eat my hair or something. Hi. Perfect. Umai. Yeah. Delicious. And we reached mm. the end of the chapter. It says umai. Very nice. Okay, so now you get to go read the handwriting. Oh my god. Um. I think that means, uh, uh. My head hurts. Yes. Um, um, and then the bit after it. Um, can you zoom in a bit? I don't know if zooming in will help that much more, but yeah, I can do that. I think it will because it's a bit too pixelated for me. Um, yeah, I'm looking at the bit on the right, in the middle, sorry, yeah. I think that means... Yeah, it's like there are very small differences in stroke, and I can't tell what it is. Okay, yeah, that makes more sense. More that that makes more sense. Okay, so it's like it's okay. Is it okay? Um, and then that says, Heiki. Hi, Heiki. Perfect. Yeah, I really like this author because their handwriting is actually pretty good. Um, I was reading um Cardcaptor Sakura, and um. 
This is how they write their cause. <laughs> they write it, it like uh, it's like a net. <laughs> but it's a Oh a my cause. god. It's it's like the funniest I, I think I have it on my computer right now. If I could. Yeah, I mean um I can't imagine something similar to that happening in English. It's like the it's the funniest handwriting. Um But yeah, um I think that's all good. Honestly, um I'm not a big fan of alcohol. <laughs> yeah, same. Kind of gross. Oh, no. No, thank you. I remember, um, what was it? I was really young, and um, my biological dad was um, sleeping next to me oh. uh, when I was really, really young. And um, whenever he breathed into my face,